up guys, it's Kelly and today we're back at my desk as you can see from the bed behind me. I wanted to do a funky little video today and I don't know how it's gonna go because I've never seen this type of video before. But I recently saw, not that recently, maybe in the last two months, Jenna Marbles did a video where she was like trying to identify people's photos without her glasses slash contacts. I thought it would be funny to try to do nail art without my contacts in. So if you guys don't know, I do wear contact lenses. My prescription is negative five, so my vision is pretty bad. It's not the worst, but I also can't see my hand in front of my face when I don't have my contacts in. And I very rarely wear glasses. I, I brought them over here just so that I could put them on when I need to, but I am wearing my contacts right now. About to pull them out and then I'm going to try to do nail art. It took me a while to decide what kind of nail art to do. I ended up picking just a little sunset gradient with some palm tree silhouettes in the background, in the foreground. So that's what I'm going to do today. If you guys need a little reference for how it normally looks, I'll just post a picture right here and I'll also put a link in the cards to that tutorial so you can see that I am capable of doing it with my contacts in, but I don't know what's going to happen without my contacts. A part of me has probably enough muscle memory to be able to do certain things, but I'm not really sure how it's gonna look without. I've never, I've never done my nails without my contacts in. In fact, I've never even painted my nails with my glasses on because my glasses are like a weird fisheye lens and it, well, you know, it doesn't matter. So that's what I'm gonna do today. If you're interested, keep watching. If you're squeamish, don't look for the next five seconds because I'm about to pull my contact lenses out, okay? I'm just gonna do that. And I wanted to do it on camera to prove to you guys that I do always wear them. Oh God, I'm already regretting this. Okay, contacts are out. Probably should have, oh no, I can't see anything. <laughs> I have all of my tools out and products out already because I don't trust myself to find them. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna start with my base coat and I'm using the Cuccio base coat. Here we go. All right, painting it on. I feel like I'm doing it right. I, I don't think I'm even gonna bother doing the other nails because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna end up looking very good. So once that base color is dry, I'm gonna go in with white nail polish. I always use white nail polish as a base for my gradients. So today I'm gonna do yellow, orange, pink. If you guys are interested in a whole gradient tutorial, I've got one in my Nail Polish 101 playlist, which I'll also link in the cards. All right, it seems like it's not enough because I feel the end of my nail. I think I might have to go a little bit higher. Boom. That looks about right. That looks like it's not enough of my nail. <laughs> okay, let's try. I feel like no matter what I'm doing right now, I feel like I'm only hitting the bottom half of my nail. But it, from my distance, that looks like it's my whole nail. So I guess I'm just gonna go with it. I usually only do one coat of this color, so that's what I'm sticking to for right now. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds to dry, and in the meantime, I'm gonna do the sponge situation. Honestly, I, I, I don't trust myself to refocus the camera, so I'm hoping that this is just gonna be good enough. I'm gonna, I'll just write everything in the description if anybody's curious about what colors I'm using and stuff. I'm gonna start with my pink, oh shoot. I did spill a little bit, that's okay. No, I don't think that's okay, actually. I'm gonna grab another one. I'm not, I don't wanna look too closely at my nail, even though I, I'm capable of moving my hand closer to my face, but I'm not gonna do it because I kind of wanna be surprised at the end when I put my glasses on. So, let me, I, <laughs> I also think I probably look really dumb when I'm squinting. Imagine if I film this whole thing <laughs> and the camera is off. So I wanna do overlapping lines here. You gotta do some slight overlap. And you want the sponge to be really saturated. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to sponge it on. Ooh, I see the color showing up. Oh, I forgot to do liquid latex. <laughs> Okay, well I guess cleanup is gonna be a part of this video. So I can kind of see in the viewfinder what's going on and I definitely see the gradient. And I feel like I'm not doing a bad job. You know what, I'm gonna do another layer. So basically all I do is I just take the sponge, I reapply the color, and then I sponge it onto my nail for a second coat just to get a little bit more opacity on that. So if you guys are like me and you are blind as a bat, let me know in the comments what your prescription is. Because I feel like I know some people who are like really, really bad, but I feel like I'm definitely the worst of like the people, well no, that's not true. My boyfriend, I think he's like negative six or something. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I kind of messed that up now. Like, I feel like it looks, in the viewfinder, it just looks straight orange now. Like, I don't think it looks 
like a gradient anymore. I've got my acetone here, but I, I don't see in the very close vicinity my cleanup brush. Is that it? That's my cleanup brush. I found it. <laughs> okay, well, maybe let me take a, a little Q-tip. I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to do that to get around my skin because I feel like, yeah, it's not even joking, the camera did actually shut off, but it made a noise. So I heard it and I was able to salvage the situation. So let's try again. I haven't cleaned this up yet. I have my Q-tip and I'm gonna go in. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> I hope this is recording. Wait, yeah, it is, okay. So I'm going to clean up my skin with this. And this is just acetone and a Q-tip. And I'm just working my way around. I feel like the rule should be that I'm not allowed to squint, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna make that rule for myself because it's really hard to do this. Although I gotta say, I feel like I'm not doing a terrible job, but then again, I don't know what it looks like, so. And then I guess I'll just clean my skin up a little bit. Although I really have no idea where the mistake is. You know, I mean, not the mistake, where the nail polish is. I feel like I'm getting there though. Like I don't want to actually hit my nail by accident. So I'm trying, you know what? I feel like that's pretty decent. I'm not sure I did a great job on that, but it's not awful, I think. So now I'm just gonna take this little mat and I'm gonna take some black nail polish and I'm going to put it out on the mat. I think that's enough. And then I'm gonna paint little palm tree silhouettes on my nails. So I have this brush from nailstuff.ca. This is a very good brush. I'm a little worried. I feel like part of me feels like I shouldn't use it because it's like a really high quality brush and I don't wanna accidentally ruin it. But I can't imagine that this is gonna ruin it. But yeah, so it's like a really, if you can see it, can. It's like a really fine brush and also it's it says Kelly Marissa on it, which is exciting because you can get them personalized. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dip it into the black and then I'm gonna start to draw my palm tree. So the way that I do that is I just go in and then I draw, I feel like I'm not touching the nail. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna draw a solid line. There you go. So the top of the line is the top of the palm tree, obviously. And the bottom of the line, wait, that's too thick, I think. That's okay, we'll make that into a... So we're gonna, we want it to like kind of fan out at the bottom to look like a tree trunk. I feel like I'm making it too thick. So I'm gonna try to draw, uh-oh. Am I on the nail here? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good either. And then I'm just, I feel like I made those lines a little bit too thick, but it's hard to see. And then what I do is I take the same brush and I start to fan out a little bit on the palm tree leaves. I feel like I'm not doing a great job explaining this because I'm trying really hard to focus, but it's also really, this is not a good idea <laughs> for nail art design because this is like, you have to go back based on what you already did and you have to work off of that. And I feel like that's the hardest part for me right now because I can't see where the lines are that I drew. Like, I feel like I'm at this point, I'm probably just making a mess. I feel like there's some stuff missing over here. So I'm gonna go in on that side. And another part of me feels like I'm not getting anything on the brush, but I see black blotches. So I'm thinking I am getting stuff. So I'm gonna call that. I feel like I definitely got it on my skin because I could feel it. So I'm gonna clean that up too. I'm gonna be like crying while I'm <laughs> editing this. I feel like it's gonna be so dumb. If anybody's into this challenge and wants to try it for themselves, I challenge you to do it. Or if you wanna see somebody else do it, tell them about this video. <laughs> okay, there you go. So clean that up. Usually just give it a quick touch, see if it's dry. Maybe, oh, I'll do drying drops. Is this drying drops? Nope, that's cute oil. Is this drying drops? No, that's also cute oil. It's like impossible to tell what things are in my drawer because everything looks exactly, obviously everything looks exactly the same. Oh, found it. I was just looking for the dropper top. So quick dry drops are a really great way to get around doing nail art and waiting for a really long time because the quick dry drops make everything dry really quickly and then you can put top coat on to smooth out your design. These are from Zoya. I'm going to, maybe I'll take the back of my sponge and I'll kind of just like wipe off any excess because I feel like they got all over me. 
and all over my little black mat here. So yeah, so that, that's good. So I always mattify my designs, but what I do first is I'll always use regular top coat and that just smooths out the whole design and it puts it onto one layer. So I'm gonna take my Cuccio top coat and then I grab some. The thing also with nail art is you wanna have enough on your brush that you're not touching the brush to the nail art, you're only touching the brush to the polish so that it doesn't smudge. If that makes any sense. Like you don't want the bristles to touch the nail art because then it's gonna drag it down. I feel like I'm saying all that and then I, there's a good chance that I just ruined my nail art, but you always wanna make sure you have a nice thick bead of your top coat so that that doesn't happen. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'll share with you my fun fact instead of at the end of my video. <laughs> and that is I have worn contacts for, I mean, it must be at least 10 years by now. I very rarely, if ever, wear my glasses. I try to do it once a week, but I really don't. Like it's closer to once a month that I'll wear them for the whole day instead of the contacts because I know they can really put a strain on your eyes. But I don't know, like I feel like my depth perception when I'm wearing glasses is so off. I only do it on days where I know I'm not gonna drive anywhere or days where I know I'm not gonna film anything because everything just looks off. I hope I'm in focus also because in my eyes, <laughs> everything's blurry. So now that that's dry, hopefully, I'm gonna touch it. Yep, it's dry. So now I'm gonna throw on my matte top coat because you guys know how much I love to mattify my nails to make it look really good. So I'm gonna do that. Just gonna throw my matte top coat on there. I guess I'm gonna put my glasses on and I'm gonna inspect how I did and we'll see what happens. So I guess now's a good time. Don't laugh at me for how I look. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's... That actually, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like, oh wow, first of all, these eyelashes are too big for my glasses. <laughs> okay, so skin looks awful. I really don't think I did a terrible job. I'm surprised that the gradient worked out. I feel like that's pretty decent. If I had been seeing it, I would have tried to bring the yellow up a little bit more, but all things considered, I don't think it's awful. I wouldn't do it as a full manicure. It almost looks like I tried to stamp something on it and then I messed it up. <laughs> I don't know. My whole hand just feels so sticky. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Do I look cross-eyed with my glasses on right now? It's so hard to even just like adjust to wearing glasses. Also, every time I blink, my lashes are hitting this because I never wear fake lashes when I have glasses on, obviously. But yeah, that's it for this video. I don't know if you guys thought it was funny. Let me know and give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any other weird ideas for stuff you wanna see, let me know in the comments. If anybody wants to try this, let me know so I can watch it and laugh at you. I guess that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And fun fact, I already told you guys my fun fact, but now I feel guilty and like I have to give you guys another fun fact. So I'll tell you guys, my fun fact is I've never worn contacts that were more than dailies. Like I've never worn, I know you, there are some that are good for two weeks. There are some that are good for a month. There are some that you like sleep in, but I have only ever worn dailies because I am super paranoid about putting germs into my eye, says the girl who just yanked out her contacts with all this makeup on. But I'm just like scared that I'm gonna like have dirty ones and I'm gonna keep putting them in my eye and I'm gonna go blind. I don't know. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.